Hello fellow SEOers, this is Mark from Tone and in this video I'm going to talk to you about website speed, how to check your website speed, why it's important and how to fix it, alright? So before I go on, I want to, the first thing I'm going to show you, and this might surprise you, maybe not, I don't know, but back before these became in everybody's hand all the time, if you see somebody walking down the street, guaranteed they're holding this in their hand, a phone. So before mobile phones, cell phones, uh, smartphones, whatever you want to call them, became huge. It was so important to have your website fast on desktop. Now, Google don't really care about how fast your website is on desktop. They care about how fast it is on your mobile phone. Let's jump to it. All right. So... This is my website, wolfofonlinemarketing.com. You can see the home page. I have nine posts. I just counted them. Um, let me go and I'll very quickly retest my website. All right, so you can see that, remember, this is the home page of my website, okay? Now, a lot of people do come to my home page from social media, from other places. That's okay. Now, I got performance 100 structure 99 and this kind of shows you how it loads remember this is gtmetrics.com an independent website from google and what i'm going to show you next is the actual official google page speed website and that's the one that's important who cares if another website says your website's fast it's all about google it's what google care about it's about how fast your website loads with Google, okay? So just scrolling down quickly, we can look and we can see some of the things that I could change, which are, is wrong, actually. It's telling me to use a content delivery network. Well, I am using a content delivery network. I run this website, the, the Wolf Online Marketing. I run it through Cloudflare, which is free, and you can do that as well, no problem. So I'm not sure why it's showing me this. It's just one of those things. Now, the next thing is, is a massive thing. And you have to juggle this in your head, okay? You have to say, what's more important? Do I want to have a picture or two and a, a logo, you know, or a banner on my website? And maybe slow it down by, you know, whatever, 600, 600 uh, milliseconds? Or 500 milliseconds or do I want to remove those pictures and just have writing with no nothing just writing 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 I think the best way is a mix between the two and that's what I try to do so this picture here is actually just quite a sweet picture of me cuddling my two girls just above my head there I want to have that there but it's slowing down my website so yeah, I could take that away and I could speed up my website, okay? This banner on my website, I could very easily make it super tiny on desktop. I've, I've tried, tested it. It's quite funny to, to see. It looks very strange. It's just in the left corner. You can just read it. it. Makes my website on desktop super fast. But that's not what I want. I want to have a combination of a super fast website because that will always help me outrank my competitors. But I also want to have a website where people, when they land on it, they're not just like, oh, this is just writing. They're able to see, okay, this is brandy. They maybe look at the side. Ah, okay, it's a regular guy with his kids. Great. So it's telling me again, bum, bum, bum. Okay. Look. Just going to ignore this for now because this is like um, our JavaScript uh, and things that we can't really like this. If we were to take this away, it would mean that we would not have linked posts. We would not have testimonials on the website, which I like having testimonials on the website. You, you would be removing comments and it's just like, where do you draw the line? Okay. If you want to have a website that is the fastest website in the world, re remove the, con the, the comments, 
you know, have only three posts or two posts on the home page. Um, cut down the amount of characters that you can have here. So have it only so that people can see like this many characters and then they have to click read more if that's you know if that's how you want it to be but i don't you know i don't recommend that you do that now you'll notice as well as i scroll down on desktop look this is what i'm talking about this is how small i made it before i kept it like this so that when when i scroll down people can still if they forget remember where they are so this website is good um yeah, but it's not what Google are looking for, okay? What Google are looking for is to check things on their own website. And there we go. Okay, so 99 user performance, 100 accessibility, best practices, 185 SEO. Yes, my SEO on this website is bad because I've been lazy and not been building backlinks. Only social sharing, which, which is probably why I have 85. Um, which is not bad now as we scroll down this is like it's called a tree map okay and this is the the first two boxes you see the first two rectangles are blank so that's like milliseconds milliseconds i i, I don't even know how many milliseconds it is like probably about about 57 to 60 milliseconds think how little that is so that's about 100 milliseconds, probably less, before my website starts to load on mobile. And then you can see as it goes along, the banner appears more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more until it's fully loaded. Now, we can, we can scroll down and look at things that you can fix. And these are all things that you can very easily try doing yourself. Or you could go to a website like Fiverr um, and you could check those things out there. I may very well be putting up on my just a, a little uh, a little promotion here. I might be I am creating a website where I'm going to be offering um, services like building a website, speeding up your website, fixing malware on your website. I have a little team put together. So watch out for that on, on my website. Um, so look here. So it's telling me here that I could save um, resource size 211 KIB um, for this image. So this image is this tiny one that you see. And let me show you what it looks like here. So this is Google Search Console. I made a video about how you can persuade Google to to index and rank your website. If you've not seen that video, I will put it around here somewhere, okay? I can't promise it's right above my head, but I'll put it up there somewhere. Now, you'll look, if you look to the to the right, this is how my website looks exactly on mobile, okay? Look at the size of the banner. The banner's tiny. I mean, if, when I look, when I open on my um, stupid phone, sorry, smartphone, um, I can barely read the, the, the logo and I did that for a reason because if people are looking on my website as long as they can see my name and see you know roughly what it says I'm fine because if I made it any bigger it would slow down my slow down my website so much that it's just not worth it so yeah my website on mobile does look a little bit thin you know, it looks a little bit bland. And, you know, I, I wish I could say I'm happy with that. I'm not, but I know that it has to be like that. And so, so, so should you guys. You have to have, you know, if you want it to be super fast and be ranking and getting organic traffic, you have to go, you know, you have to put away those big banners, those big, you know, big logos, because they do slow down your website and they do make a difference. And just before we go on, I want to show you this as well. Just so you know, I'm not talking, um, you know, SHIT. You can see here that uh, page ability page can be indexed. The page is indexed. Um, I, I was on the first page before. I'm not sure now. And you can see crawled as. So it says crawled as. 
Google inspection tool, smartphone. So that's what the Google spiders do. do, 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 do. Google spiders are crawling your website with. They are crawling your website with smartphone spiders. That's what they're doing. Coming and crawling your website with smartphone, um, yeah, spiders. So there you go. That's that's me not just making that up. That's a fact. So you can go to Page Speed Insights. You can have a look, you know, there's lots of different ways that you can speed your website up. I'm going to show you two plugins that I use that I so that I'm able to have a home page with nine posts um, and this many characters and it still loads, you know, what's it loading at here? Super fast anyway, 99. Okay, all right, great. So that's fast. Um, and I'm going to show you the plugins that I use to do that. But remember, you can go to Google PageSpeed Insights, put in your URL of your homepage, check it out and see, you know, what you can do to fix these things. And there is a lot of options. All right. It, it does explain to you, you know, how to do it. So if you're willing to put in the time, you can do that. If you would rather outsource it, then you can outs you can outsource it. So I'm just going through, like, look at this. It's telling me here. Wow. So I could speed up my website by removing this hyperlink. That's what it's saying. Read more is a link that you click. And that, that would be great. I can remove, I can make my website faster by removing my name. Because my name is clickable. So some of these things, in my opinion, are just ridiculous. So this is the category. Remove that or make it not clickable. No thanks. You need to find the balance. That's what I'm going to say. You need to find the balance between having a website that looks great with lots of, you know, flashy graphics and pictures popping up and lots of images everywhere and logos and banners and, you know, a little bit of text or you decide I'm going to make my website super fast so that it's SEO optimized and so that it's mobile optimized and so that it ranks fast. Those are the things that you have to weigh up and decide. Am I going to make my banner, you know, this size or am I going to make it this size or am I just going to keep it this size? Because every time you change it, you're going to, every time you make it smaller, you're going to get a spike in the speed of your website. All right. So, you know, it's, it's, I think it's unfair, but that's just how it is because we all walk around on our stupid phones, sorry, smartphones. Anyway, let me go to the plugins. These are the two plugins that I highly recommend that you use. The first one is called Smush. Okay. Smush reduces the image file sizes. So when you upload an image, um, it's going to reduce the file size by a huge percentage. And I, I mean a massive percentage. Um, and it just boosts your SEO because of that. The other one is a caching plugin. Um, caching plugin basically just means that it makes your website faster because it loads things um, on demand. Um, yeah, it's just a performance plugin. Now, just a quick note. I have some websites that, you know, I don't really care about the SEO. I want them to be quick, but not like blazing fast like this website. And I use a plugin that you get free with Green Geeks Hosting, which I highly recommend as a hosting provider. I'll put a link in the description below. And to start with them, it's like $57 or something for a year. They have a great plugin that is, you know, almost as good as WordPress Rocket. It's completely free and it's called Lightspeed Cache and it's automatically installed when you install WordPress. So that's just something to think about. One last thing that I almost forgot about is when you're checking the speed of something, okay? So let me go to this. This post has four images in it, all right? And a video. So you can see there's a lot of content on there. There's comments on there. So what you have to remember as well, 
is you are not just always checking the home page because that would be silly because when you are trying to rank for something you're not ranking the home page you're ranking the actual post so you should always check the speed of the post as well now I'm, not, I'm actually not sure what this is going to be but luckily it's actually very good and you'll notice as well which I'm very happy about that the SEO for this is 92 so the home page of my web webs my my main marketing website the wolf is 85 and for this post because I did build some backlinks to this is 92 which is quite interesting so you can see like here again first contextual first contentful paint 1.5 seconds largest etc etc i'm not going to go on for total blocking time zero milliseconds speed index 2.3 seconds so there you go guys you can check this out there's so much more to speed and if you have any questions please stick them below and it helps with the algorithm even if it's just to say hello or if you have a genuine question there is not one comment that's been unanswered since i started this channel so there you go you can ask a question and I'll get back to you. I hope this helped you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment and just be a badass for doing that. Talk to you in the next one.